Hello everyone, uh, it's been about, it's been a while, but anyways, it's been about eight months since I did anything with the, uh, the joining head unit here, and I wanted to go over some of my, um, my thoughts on how it's behaved, and I do actually have a little bit of a story to tell regarding joining customer support. It's a good story, so, uh, at least I think it is. So I guess that's probably where I should start. Um, shortly after I made the first video, I started noticing certain uh, weather conditions would start to make the head unit behave certain ways. So I figured I'd give Joing Support another email and see what they had to say. Um, particularly the issue that I was having is that it would not boot on cold days. So um, we're, we're going we were just exiting the cold season uh, when I installed this, <coughs> and uh, yeah, so you'd get in your car to you know to go to work. I'd get in the Jeep to go to work, and it just straight up wouldn't boot sometimes. So I contacted Joing Support, and as before, they were very very helpful. Um, you do have to remember, and I can say this especially for those of you who are watching this who are outside the United States. Uh, I don't know about other countries, but here in the U.S., people have a tendency to get very, very uh, boisterous when there's an issue. They get kind of uh, angry and rude. But I personally try not to. So I contacted them, and you have to remember there's there's two things that you have to deal with, which is one of which is a very big time distance. Uh, right now, you know, it's 10:22 a.m. here in China, where their support comes from is probably. You know, it's probably middle of the night or late night there. Um, so you, you have to remember that. Another, and aside from that, there's also a language barrier you have to deal with. I have to say, I wish customer support here in the U.S. was as good as theirs was. Because um, I would wake up every, you know, I'd send an email asking, hey, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? And I would get a response every morning. I mean, every morning I'd wake up to a new email from Join with uh, joint support with with either a solution or a question about you know the what what's happening so I have to say you know mad props to your support they're they're fantastic uh, nothing short of excellent in in the uh, customer support area so what I'm what actually ended up happening was I had to send back the main unit which is the the metal box that's behind uh, behind the screen here of course back to join they sent me a new one it actually wasn't quite in that order they sent me a new one and then I returned the old one which was you know not bad they were very fast about it and uh, made it very very painless the new one runs actually even better than the old one did you know you know how I in the last video I mentioned that it's extremely fast it's snappy everything works great this one works even better, so you know I don't know if there was like an up, you know, a software update or something that I missed on the old one, or what. But uh, this one's nothing short of fantastic. Um, everything that I said before stands. Uh, Plex runs great. Copilot runs great. the The GPS unit that this thing comes with is pretty snappy and pretty accurate too. I have to say. Uh, one of my previous uh, concerns was how this would handle the jostling of off-road use. I've had a chance to get it on the dirt and it handles just fine. I mean it's it's been very solid so I have no complaints there. A couple of suggestions that I would have you know I started creating like a list of things that I wish it had or that it did and uh, Joings actually kind of eliminated a lot of those just through time. So this unit's actually been replaced on their website with a new Intel Airmont unit. Uh, that has a lot of the new features like, uh, you know, sleep. When you turn the car off, it just goes to, into a low power mode. So you don't have to constantly re reboot every time. Uh, but that's not a huge issue because I do have the, uh, you know, the remote start. So that's pretty cool. Um, the, the big things that I, I would ask for uh, going into it now... The only really major thing was I wish that instead of having just a little stubby antenna for the Wi-Fi on the back, put just a, a port on there like uh, like you get with the little USB Wi-Fi modules. That way I could install my own separate antenna because I would, as silly as it sounds, I would probably put an external antenna on this if I had the option. 
the other thing is is uh, dual band Wi-Fi would be nice. You know, five gigahertz, two point four gigahertz. Uh, it, even if it costs just a couple bucks more to do, I would happily pay that extra money for dual dual band Wi-Fi. Uh, some sort of uh, one thing that I can say that a lot of people have had issues with that I've seen. Personally, I've, even though I live in one of the hottest climates in the world, uh, I have not had an issue with is the temperature of the unit. Like right now, we are running at... It gets a little bit fiddly sometimes. It's not actually the unit, it's Android there. Current temperature, according to Antutu Benchmark, is 59 degrees Celsius, which is 138 degrees Fahrenheit, which is well within spec for this particular processor. Uh, Join, if I could ask please, on behalf of your community, put a better heat sink on the processor. Whether you decide to do like active cooling or just a, a more appropriate heat sink, um, my personally, I will probably, once my warranty expires, I will probably put install some sort of a, a larger heat sink on mine. Now you will notice that I have one, uh, one of my air vents pointed up and into the unit. That keeps it pretty cool. Um, it could be cooler, yes, but, uh, you know, on, on the 60 to 70 mile trips that I've been taking this thing on as I repair other parts of it, uh, this thing's done just fine going there and back again with no issues of overheating or turning off or anything of that sort. It's pretty dang solid. Uh, what else is there? Those are the big three that I had. Obviously, the, the other things that I would have requested at another time have been basically rectified. Now, I did also request that they look into HD radio. You know, in the UK, you have DAB+, plus or DAB+, plus. I don't know exactly how you pronounce that over yonder. Um, here in the US, we have what's referred to as HD radio, and at, mo at the moment, the radio doesn't support, and none of their products support HD radio. Uh, it would be a nice little thing. I mean, I would not call it a deal breaker by any means because I listen mostly to Plex, but every now and then I do tune in to a couple of radio stations, and it, it would be nice to be able to get the extra digital radio stations that are available. Um, they actually responded to me. I, 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 asked that, I asked them that on their uh, listing on their website for the DAB Plus module, and they said, yeah, we'll look into it. You know, not a problem. And another thing I can say is that their YouTube page, they show off a lot of their prototype uh, hardware. Like they have a prototype external CD player that's uh, that they're testing, which is pretty awesome, actually. I don't know, you know, Kenwood doesn't do that. Pioneer doesn't do that. Uh, Joing does. Now, I have to say it is a different class of head unit. If you're looking for, like, insane audio, then you want to go with, like, a, a Kenwood Exilion or something. The audio quality on this is stellar compared to the Clarion CZ unit that I had before. As I said before, I still hold my ground on that. Even having taken the four door speakers off and just running the two dash speakers, the two speakers I have in the rear connected directly to the head unit and the subwoofer, <coughs> I was still pretty impressed with the audio quality. Um, What else is there to say? I mean, that's all that I really have. Wi-Fi connection has gotten stronger, but that's because I I redid the Wi-Fi in my house. I went to uh, a node setup, so I have Google Wi-Fi. I have three nodes, and one of which is actually positioned closer to the garage so that I, it gets out here. So you see, I have a pretty constant Wi-Fi signal. Um, the Wi-Fi is actually probably the slowest thing about this. Uh, I we pay for 200 megabit down and on average in here we get somewhere around seven usually five to seven which is part in part because of the single band Wi-Fi that I mentioned before could be better but it could be a heck of a lot worse so I can't complain a whole lot I guess it's gonna get up to eight today you know showing off for the camera uh, Really, 7 or 8 is great. You know, it's a lot better than it could be. I have no complaints on this because, you know, I mean, it could be better, but I'm not complaining about it is what I'm saying. 
because I can cache music from Plex just fine at that speed. In fact, if we look, it's probably updating right now. Go online to sync so we can pop in there and it'll... Yeah, you see it's updating, adding some Bruce Springsteen. Um, one of the perks of being one of the old iPod, you know, iPod generation is you've got a lot of music from all, all eras. But, uh, yeah, the radio quality is still fantastic. You also, I, what I've noticed, I've driven this thing to larger cities where there is a more, verse, uh, more diverse set of radio stations and it's much more saturated. Um, the radio quality is even better there. I mean, that's one thing about living in a small town is the, the radio quality is not fantastic to begin with. Um, this thing handles it all pretty well. You do get text on the radio, you know, so if they're showing what the, uh, the name of the song is, artist, and all that good stuff, you do get that on here, which is cool. Um, I know my Clarion unit did not do that. A couple of things that I have added to it. Um, there's a, an app called My MTC Service. I use that exclusively to manage uh, screen brightness. That's designed for a lot of the other uh, Rock Chip or P PX5 units. It does not recognize this unit. And as I found out, that is because Join does manufacture their own um, mainboard. Part of the reason why the new units that you see on their website will have like uh, spitif out. Uh, video playback on the stock, you know, Android video player is pretty terrible, as I said before. But if I pull up a movie or say a music video on Plex, it looks just fine. It, it stretches properly and all that good stuff. <coughs> uh, as far as performance goes, graphical performance, I know I've not played any games or anything on this. It's not really, like I said before, it's not really what I bought it for. Uh, I didn't even buy it to really play movies, um, although that is really an option, say I'm camping in the Jeep somewhere. Uh, it's not really what I bought it for. Uh, music performance is just fine. It is still, like I said before, faster than my S8. It performs better with the same SD card in it that my S8 has, so cool story. Uh, it does come with a couple other things like uh, the car manager, which lets you clean up... Uh, You know, the same way that like a lot of the Samsung Android devices have similar design. Everything's really fast and snappy. I don't really know what else to say. I do wish it had, like I said before, an external uh, antenna hookup for the Wi-Fi. And I do wish it had some sort of a better cooling solution for the processor. But it manages. I've had no complaints with it. It hasn't gotten super hot, even on the really hot days that we have. I haven't really done anything else to it. I've kind of just run it as is, using, I mean, I use mainly Plex and Copilot. I haven't installed Backcountry Navigator on this yet. I figured I'd save that for the tablet. Uh, Torque runs pretty dang good. You'll see it... Uh, it defaults to my OBD2, which actually works better on this for whatever reason than it does on the S8. It's really glitchy and it disconnects a lot on the S8. But here, it connects in like there's no issue. You can see I'm still at 111 degrees. I had to drive this to the gym and back earlier. Uh, but everything works really well. So, you know, I have no complaints. All I can say, if anyone's looking to buy one of these units, look at the reviews. Part of the reason I went with Joing is because their customer service is there. I mean, I, I've looked at some of the other uh, units that are on the market, like Pumpkin, and <laughs> their customer service was not nearly as good as Joing's. I think that's the biggest upgrade that you get with a Joing head unit is the fact that you get a real person to talk to, and they're pretty, you know, if you're civil with them, they're, they're very civil. I've seen... Oh, another thing. They will actually send you a link. You, when you buy a Joing head unit, you get access to an actual, like, uh, uh, a Joing owner's club on Facebook. Which is, if you have Facebook, I know a lot of people are moving away from social media, and I really don't blame you. Uh, if you have Facebook, it's really cool. You get to ask questions. They respond. You get to connect with other Joing head unit owners across the world. Well, there's a lot, in, as it turns out, in Germany, uh, but uh, here in the U.S. there's quite a few as well, Mexico, China, etc., etc. So there's a lot of people out there with these units, so 
if you ask a question, one of the other users might actually answer you alongside of uh, joining themselves. They're very, very, you know, it's a very civil group, so it's pretty cool. It's very constructive, I would say. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of been my experience. It's been very pleasant. My biggest fear with an Android head unit is that you're going to get something that's DOA or, you know, you get no support for it. And that has totally not been the case. It's been very good. Uh, you know, like I said before, if regardless if you buy joining or another company, look at the reviews, see what people have to say. Um, I do recommend if you do buy a joining head unit, just get off their website. You might take a little bit longer to ship, but it, you know, you get the paper trail. If you do have an issue, they'll help you out, no problem. So, you know, I can say that for sure. Very, very strongly pleased with their customer service. They handled you know, I had, obviously it's a major issue when you have to send it back, and they handled it like it was no sweat. So that says a lot. My big thing is that when I buy a, a product, you know, and if, if there is an issue, I hope the company rectifies it, and they did 100%. I did actually like it so much that I, you know, I bought some of the accessories that are available for it. So, like, if I get into here, they have a tire pressure monitor, a tire pressure monitoring system that you can get. And it's fairly accurate. It's not, as you can tell, the temperatures are off. But overall, it lets you take a look at your, uh, you know, you can keep your tires within a certain pressure and uh, make sure that everything's as it should be. You know, if you have one tire that's way off, it will actually sound an alarm and give you an alert on the, uh, on the head unit, which is pretty cool. I, I did actually, <laughs> I did actually have one of those happen, so... It's kind of saved my bacon at least once, so that's pretty awesome. Otherwise, you know, that's all I can say. I haven't tried any of the other accessories that they have for it. I haven't really had a need to, because this works pretty great on its own. So, yeah. That's been my experience over the last eight months. Uh, I had the, the... The main box was replaced less than a month after I made that video. I mean, they're... Even for shipping from China, it was incredibly fast. They really took care of it very, very in a very punctual manner. So that's awesome. You know, Joying, I know you guys watch these videos. Thank you for all of your help. And you've made a customer out of me. Just because of, you know, the the person-to-person the -person connection can make a huge difference. So not only did I buy this head unit, but someday down the road, if this slows down or something... I'll probably buy another. I mean, that's all there really is to it. That's been my experience, so... Take take it as you will, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you can see, like I was saying before, I haven't really done a whole lot to it because I haven't really needed to. Um, the only thing that really kind of annoys me is the fact that every time you turn it off and turn it back on, it defaults. It tries to default to the last program, but it does not always do so successfully. So like if I use Plex, it'll pull up, open the radio. If I use Copilot, it'll pull up Google Maps, just when it starts up. And if I use, like if I was talking to someone on the phone, which I'd say phone quality is pretty decent as well. I've got the little microphone right here. Eventually I'll probably move it over onto the steering column. But uh, I can say uh, microphone quality is, is decent. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I kind of go off on a, a side tangent there, but uh, yeah, that's kind of that's most of my experience so far. That's I don't really have any other anything else to say at this point. Uh, Android Auto works properly. Bluetooth, you know, playing music off of Bluetooth works properly. The radio is got much better range and quality than the old Clarion unit, as I said before. Uh, the phone calls work really well. It kind of just auto connects to your whatever device you have defaulted to it over time you know it just auto connects and then if you get a phone call it just shows up on here you, you can answer it from from this um, and it works really well so that's kind of been my experience it's been very pleasant so take that as you will um, I hope this helps somebody if they're deciding to buy one of these uh, the new the new units are supposed to be even better than these ones and hey this thing's got four gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of uh, storage memory on it, plus I've got an SD card in it, so I can't really, you know, this is going to last me for a while, the way I see it. So, you know, fingers crossed that I get years and years of use out of it, but so far, I'm very happy. 
Um, this has kind of been a short rambling video, so I hope, uh, like I said before, it helps somebody. So, we'll see you in the next video. I've got some other stuff I need to do to the Jeep, so maybe you'll see videos of that too. For now, this is uh, Michael signing off. I hope you have a great one. We'll see you next time.